Hi, hello, and good day. My name's Reza Luca, and finally, 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 welcome back to my channel, where today I am playing through the screen. I am so sorry for my absence. I've had final exams. IB students are... Oof. Oof. Big mood. Um, so basically, I was thinking, well, what should I do? And I decided, oh, well, I have a couple games I've made on my channel, Astral Autumn Games. Please check out the itch.io. Sorry. Please check out the itch.io link, and also the YouTube channel because there's a YouTube channel, and I really want people to get to like the games. And I'm hoping that this will help. Maybe I don't know. <laughs> um. So I thought, okay, well, why don't I start chronologically and go for the first game I made, and then play through all of them. And the first game I ever made was a Valentine's Day gift to my boyfriend, Tony42. This is basically about how we met, and it was basically my Valentine's Day gift to him in 2018. So this was a year ago. And I don't really remember it, so let's see how badly I did with this. Let's see, okay. Uh, oh, by the way, uh, I will- this is a bit like a developer's commentary. But what I will do with an actual developer's commentary is I'm going to post it for real on Astral Autumn Games. It's going to be a straight developer commentary about character design and all that nonsense. This is my gameplay of it. I don't remember a lot of stuff about it. So while I have seen it and I know the end result, I will mostly be doing this just to play through it and see what my reaction is. Okay. No, all characters in this game are referred to by their usernames or nicknames, and their character images are also based on their current profile pictures at the time. Their age, therefore, does not necessarily correspond with the image shown on the screen. If you understand, please click the If you understand, please click the OK on the next screen. There we go. There's English. Click to continue the story. OK. Also, many of the events that take place in the game are not exact representations of what happened, and may skip over people that were in these events or the actual events themselves. If you understand, please click the OK on the next screen. Here we go. Ready? OK. Dot, dot. <laughs> Most love stories don't start with two people that are practically on the other side of the globe. They don't start with a video game that isn't a multiplayer game. And as far as I know, there are very few, if any, that start with a newspaper in the kitchen. I don't think this is like most love stories, though. I could start with how we met, but that's only part of the story. So let's tell the whole story. Ariza. I can't believe I'm turning 15 in almost two weeks. It was October 15th, 2015. Yes, it actually was. Give or take a couple days. <laughs> yep, that's basically it. Probably it was more like October 17th, as far as I remember, but it wasn't, it was around the time that Minecraft Story Mode was initially released. By the way, this includes Minecraft Story Mode. Of course it does. Anyway. My birthday is on the 27th of October. My birthday is on the 27th of October, so there was only about two weeks to go until then. Super excited! My mom was reading the Washington Post next to me. One of the few weekends she actually stayed at home in the morning instead of going off to work. She's a busy lady. Hey honey, do you want to look at the recommended app section of the newspaper? Sure! The Washington Post has a recommended app page. Most of them don't really interest me, since the games are either racing games or more action-y than I can handle. And the other apps are generally sort of boring. But that was not the case that day. Hmm. Memorize. Learning languages. Sounds okay. Minecraft story mode? Hmm, not a big fan of Minecraft normally, and the game costs $5. But I do like story games, and it is recommended in the Washington Post. I guess I'll check it out then. Hey mom, can I buy the Minecraft story mode game? Sure thing, Rizzy. That's not her nickname for me, by the way, but, you know. Privacy. Oh, the art's so bad. <laughs> the moment I bought the game and opened it, my life changed. Okay, that was a bit dramatic, but it's true. I was instantly hooked on the game, and immediately after playing the first episode, I asked my mom if I could buy the packages for the rest of the episodes. And then, uh, yes, I can speak English, I promise. It ended up being like $30 total since I bought the game while it still cost $5 to get the first episode, but it was seriously worth it. Also, worth noting, what happened was initially the game said there was only five episodes. Then they added on another three, so I purchased the pack for the five episodes, and then purchased the pack for the three episodes, along with the initial $5 cost to get the game. There we go. At the time, I also had a fanfiction.net account, but before September, I mostly just wrote Ninjago fanfiction. I.e. one Ninjago fanfiction. Don't judge, you have your guilty pleasures, I have mine. True. In September of 2016, the start- 
I'm so sorry. The start of my sophomore year of high school and almost a full year after the beginning of my slight addiction to the game, a thought randomly occurred to me one day in my computer graphics class. Also, confession time, I was usually the first or second person done with the project. Is that a Discord notification? Yes, it is. Go away. Mainly because once I finished that project, I like to just sit there and read my fanfictions or write them, and no one had to do work later. Okay, back to the story. Oh, yeah! So episode 8 coming out soon. I don't think that was correct, Sarah. I'm so sorry. Does my guy story with a fanfiction written for it? In hindsight, this should probably have been extremely obvious to me. Yeah, it was not for some reason. But at the time, I'd been heavily into Professor Lane and Ninjago, more so than Minecraft Story Mode, which released a new... Which released a new... Episode. I forgot a word there. Every two or three months. Compared to Professor Lane and Ninjago, which were already almost totally released, it just didn't occur to me. So, since I was actually finished with my projects at the time, I went ahead and looked up Minecraft Story Mode fanfictions. And I was greeted with more than 200. Yes! Now, I was super excited, so I started binge reading as many as I could immediately. And planning to write a few, though I didn't have many ideas at the time, so the most time... <laughs> so at the time, most of it was just reading. Multiple times, while reading through the titles and searching for a promising one, I kept coming across one called Movie Mode by someone called Tony42. Oh, he's mine! Come on, you can see the fairy tale curse in the background. Okay, sorry, I'm distracted. I ignored it. The title seemed extremely juvenile to me, the description wasn't very intriguing, and honestly, at the time it looked like something a kid would write. On September 3rd, 2016, I wrote the first chapter of a story, Hybrid, that would, like Minecraft Story Mode itself, change my life and published it. A few days later, I finally gave in to the temptation to at least give Movie Mode a look. After reading the first chapter, my th first thought was, this is why you don't judge a book by its cover. Yeah, that's pretty much true. It was amazing. It was the first chapter and already the introduction of the chapters and the characters. My god, I can't read. I'm, to be fairly honest, I did just finish a final exam today, so give me some slack here. <laughs> okay, it was the first chapter and already the introduction of the characters and the setup had me hooked. I proceeded to binge read the entire story over the course of the next day. I read fast. I was honestly a little embarrassed that I'd been so quick to judge the story. I like to think that I made up for it by mentally deeming for Tony42 my favorite fanfiction author on FFM. Have you read Movie Mode yet? Yes. That's great. Show him some love and go review on it if you haven't already. You can find the story mode the story by going to fanfiction.net, going to the Minecraft story mode archive, and looking for Movie Mode. It should be on the first or second page as of February 2018. Or you can just click this link here. I'm not going to click it because that's just going to take me to Movie Mode, but you know, that's fine. About a day or so later, I published the second chapter of Hybrid, which is really bad the first time I published it. I mean, honestly, it was terrible. Yeah, I, I still have it. it. It was crap. It was really bad. On September 8th or 2016, something really, really big happened. Well, to me, it was big, and in relation to the story, it was pretty big. Tony42 commented on Hybrid. Noticeably, Tony is not that tall. Like, I, I drew him taller than me. He is not that tall. There's a little speck of dust. Okay, there we go. It sounds a lot less momentous when I say it out loud, but at the time it was a huge deal to me. I almost immediately messaged them using the private message or PM function on fanfiction, and we started chatting. We actually got really friendly really fast. It evolved from formal critiques and conversation to really friendly chatter. We went from... Personally, I feel that after they didn't know that they were hybrids, after 10 more years, their powers would just kind of explode out all at once. Though I do, I blah, 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 blah. though I like your ideas a lot, so I think I'm going to rewrite that chapter. Either that, or I'll finish this one and rewrite it or something, since I am always attempting to improve my past writings. I don't know, what do you think I should do? You should finish the chapter you're working on, and then rewrite the last one, because I want to see what happens next. As long as you tell the readers in the new chapter that you're going to rewrite the previous one. Maybe you could also have them first use their powers on accident, like when they're in danger, Iron Golem, with it. Wither Storm Monsters. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention this game has spoilers for Minecraft Story Mode. I'm so sorry. <laughs> this is really late in this. Sorry. <laughs> Maybe getting chased by griefers if they go to Boomtown, and then over time start teaching themselves to get better control over them. Also, when they're in hybrid form, will monsters still attack them, or they can be suspicious of them, like constantly going up to them to see if they're real monsters or not? Two, not two weeks later! Holy shit, I updated again. Magic Finger Potion! I just finished playing episode six! Holy moly, yes, what's your opinion? It was bloody fantastic. Tony's British. I'm not. I can speak in a British accent. I'm not gonna, because I'm not gonna make a fool of myself. Okay, anyway. The Endermites, Cassie begging for Winslow, Lucas getting locked in a closet. <laughs> Sorry, Lucas. The fake portal, the zombie spawners, the ender pearls, Jesse racing catcher, everything. I know, right? Other games are just as good. Episodes, whatever, same thing. 
So yeah, we grew pretty friendly with each other pretty quick. On October 15th, a full year after Minecraft Story Mode officially released on iOS, I got a PM from someone with the username Girl of My Own World. For simplicity's sake, we're gonna call her Gami. Anyway, Gami sent me a PM titled The First Guest. After opening the message, I read it pretty quickly. Good, er, morning, afternoon, evening, midnight, wherever you live. This person's using it so far. I'm Girl of My Own World. Well, of course, you know that by the sender writing this message, but you can call me Gami or Sammy. I was hoping you could participate in a story that takes place during episode 6. Before I go any further, have you played it? I just don't want to spoil you if you haven't. I have a tendency of spoiling people before knowing we played it. Er, let me know, and I hope you'd like to hop in an impossible adventure with Alvin, Warship 005, Tony 2042, Red the Real Red Gaming, and myself. Also, thank you for following and favoriting A Shade of Jade. I'm happy that you're enjoying it. I haven't yet read your hybrid story, but I most definitely will soon. Didn't read it yet, not because I thought it was uninteresting, but because since I was running ASOJ, I should have Jade, I didn't want to copy anything from your story. Any copied material is purely coincidental. Thank you for taking the time to read this message, and I hope to hear from you very soon. Ciao! I was correct to respond. Oh, hello, Gami. And yes, lol, I do know. And of course, I would love to play in the episode 6 story. Well, participate, whatever. And yes, I've played it. Don't worry, you're not going to spoil me. Like I said, I'd love to. That sounds like it'd be a fun story to participate in. And yeah, Shade of Jade is great. I like Jade, even though I'm usually terribly arachnophobic. I don't know why, since I've started writing spy hybrid, I really like the idea of spiders, though I still- I can't stand being in the same room as one. So hypocritical of me. Nah, that's cool. Warning though, you're gonna have to read like 117 chapters catch up. Of course, and well, I guess responding means you heard from me, lol. Hope to hear back soon. Ariza, Arizama-chan, or Arima, all three work, but only two are previous usernames, lol. Things moved pretty quick after that. In order to communicate more easily with the other first guests, I got a Twitter account. And soon I was chatting with the real Red Gaming, Gami, and Tony on an almost daily basis. Less so with Red, he wasn't on that much while I was. And not too much with Gom, though I definitely spent time talking to her. I think I spent the most time talking to Tony. He was on a lot. Even though he lived in Italy and I lived in the US, and therefore our time zones were more whacked up than the admin super awesome icy palace of dessert. <laughs> um, he did used to live in Italy, but he now lives in Britain. Minecraft Storm in reference. <laughs> yep. We'd make stories together. We'd spoil our own stories to the other and secretly giggle or laugh when we saw it. Oops, sorry. I just knocked over the microphone. <laughs> we spoiled our own stories to the other and secretly giggle or laugh when we saw something that we knew was going to happen, but nobody else did. He talked about how his family didn't take him that seriously when he told him he was a boy. He'd rant about his brother to me, and I'd get mad at his brother in return. No, seriously, don't put me in the same room as his brother. As best thing would be rude to him if we're in the same room. I worse, I'm going to slap him. That doesn't sound that bad, but honestly, that's just violence again. Okay. Well, I can get more violent, I guess, but you know. We crack jokes, we rant together, we even share art with each other. It was almost more natural to me than talking to myself. Yeah, I know that's kind of weird, just roll with it. But the more I talked to him, the more I realized I liked him, and I'm not saying platonically. Yep. At first I thought I was just that I consider him family. Because I did. I considered all four of them family. But after a while... <laughs> GPs. Uh, I think my favorite one is... Well, this little picture is really cute, but I also really like this one just because it's really squishy looking and i like talking to people like that okay well i'm not sure what happened to make me realize that especially after a full year but i realized i liked him how could i not even a writer like me he was kind he was funny he was sweet we were close friends closer than some people i know in real life the crush was starting to bother me a little honestly so on november 10th 2017 i told gami about it hoping that saying it would help me get over it or at least feel like, like i wanted to blur it out to the world the conversation went conversation went something like can I admit something? Like, incomplete confidence? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, I think I might have a crush. On Tony? Well, we're all like family, right? So she'll think it's a bit weird, like I do, and then that might help me- Ah, I'm a G! Girl, you have nothing to be ashamed of. I'm blushing. My face is pink now, isn't it? Yeah, I, I turned pink when she said that. Blushes a bit. <laughs> I have always shipped it. Fuck yes. I shall be your wing woman. Gotcha. Gom no, I'm G. Gom yes. Gom no. Psh, <laughs> Don't worry, I won't make it obvious that that's what you're worried about. But give me the deets! How, when, why? Huh. How am I supposed to put this? Just, even when I only knew Tony and not the rest of the first guests, I was really comfortable with him. I don't know. I just feel really comfortable when I'm talking to him. I really look forward to when I can talk with him. Also, I realized I thought he was cute when he sent the Halloween picture. Ah. Okay, context. Uh, he sent a picture of himself uh, for Halloween, and I just looked at the picture and was like, Oh, that's really cute. And I went, oh shit, wait. <laughs> that basically is what happened. Oh, there's my old profile picture. Uh, no, profile picture used to be a little tiny red robot. Uh, I don't have a picture of it. I'll, maybe I'll post one later. I'm pretty sure I'm turning even redder than I was before, and that's a huge accomplishment at this point. Y'all are gonna be such a cute couple. Gum! 
What? I'm just saying the truth. Okay, but I'm blushing and grinning like an idiot right now. Why? Because you're thinking you're Tony Bear? Come! <laughs> she was excited to say the least. <laughs> but telling Gami didn't work the way I wanted it to. I just felt more like I wanted to blur to him. More than ever. To make this matter slightly worse, I accidentally left slip that I had a crush on the main chat of the others. So now Tony knew I had a crush on someone, but didn't know it was on him. Also, this is a really bad picture of a bedroom, but I looked for a cheap one. Free one. Fuck it. In another attempt to try to calm myself down, I wrote a really rambly piece of portfolio piece. Do you want to read it? I never actually used it for my portfolio, but... I... I didn't intend to write it as a portfolio piece, but I decided to use it. But then I never entered a creative writing program, so I never ended up using it. So let's say yeah, sure, and skip over it later. Okay then, here. I talk to him every day if I can, only borrowing weekends because I don't have the time then. We are both online the most often, and he and I often share story ideas, tossing them back and forth until we've come up with something spectacular and funny and perfect in both of our own ways. Him with his heart-wrenching sentences, words eliciting fury and sadness and intense joy all at once. Me with my silly jokes, word tic words tickling the senses and causing giggles or laughter and occasionally a solemnness that soon returns to cheer fun and cheer. We create contrasting emotions that don't seem like they mix together well, but end up melding together into something beautiful and fun and different. I used to call him, slip up and call him a her after he told us he was a boy. Now it's hard to believe that time ever existed, or to believe I ever didn't know him, or think of him as a guy. Only a year has passed and somehow it's already impossible to imagine. It's only been a year, only 365 days since we first met, that I didn't meet him before elsewhere. He might not be a boy by birth, but I think even before he roused out this one, I had a bit of a crush on him. How could I not? He is fun, funny, and kind and genuine, and I look forward to the time when he can open the laptop and find he is on the same time as I am. Our conversations go from rants to full-blown laughter to a molding of ideas, then back to rants again, and it feels as natural as conversing with myself. He is pure as a pearl and more precious, sweet as ice cream without the taste that I dislike, warm and friendly as a dog who is happy to see you every day when you open your eyes in the morning. I want to meet the others too, but for some reason he is the person I want to meet the most. He is the person I want to walk into a train station or a crowded airport with people jostling me aside, or a bus station or a busy restaurant and spot him right away and hug him for the first time. He is the one that I want to shake hands with the most, and even when I think that I want to meet the others as well and tackle them in a tight hug, he is the first person that comes to mind. He doesn't like me in the same way, I don't think. I think he thinks of me as his sister, and honestly, for a while, that's what I thought of him as. And then one day I was talking to him, and now I'm not so sure. He doesn't consume my thoughts night and day. He is not the only person I think of, and he is not the only boy who has a special place in my heart. And he is not the only boy that I can't help but imagine that I could have something more with. But when he is in my thoughts, my entire day is brighter. When I think of him, I see colors and little lights that are brighter than the ones I see with other people that I care about. He is the second boy to make me smile the way I do compared to the others I keep close to my heart. The first being my first boyfriend. And when I imagine I could have something more with him, I don't think of a possible future. I think of right here and now because I've never been happier than when I talk to him. So, uh, yeah, that's what I wrote. <laughs> it took me a while to get up the courage, but finally on February 1st, 2018... You know what? I think I should just tell him. That basically was my thought process. At least I won't be skirting around the issue for the rest of my life, and even if he says no, it might help me get over it. I opened up Twitter and prepared to message him to tell him, and then I stopped. Should I tell him, or should I go about it in a roundabout way? Break him in a really roundabout way is what actually happened. Just tell him that ends up resulting in this option, so I might as well just pick this. I might scare him off for something if I just tell him outright. I'll break him in a more roundabout way. I decided to tell him using the 20 questions. I'd been spoiling things for a fanfiction called Fairy Tale Curse that I'd been writing that way. My stomach was doing flips as I typed in the question. Do you want to do the ask questions and try to figure out that something thing you did with the fairy tale curse? Except this time you're trying to guess my crush, and you can only ask yes or no. So basically just 20 questions. Yes, we type like that usually. Okay, I type like that usually, only while chatting, but yeah, I do a lot of like, eh, things. Eh, means like the little, uh, XD thing? I don't know. Ooh, okay. He typed a lot more like a normal person. <laughs> Why not? I try to keep myself calm. He was a nice guy, he wouldn't just cut off contact with me if he didn't put you in the feeling. Right? Okay, question one. Remember, yes or no questions only. I reminded him that because usually when spoiling the fairy tale course, I basically let, let him ask whatever question he wanted. Got it. Alright, is it someone I know or have least heard of? Starting with pretty question. Pfft. Starting out with pretty easy questions. Okay. Yes. Question two. Do I need to put the question numbers in? Yeah, I'll probably, I'll for probably forget to otherwise. Are they online? Yes. Question three. Hmm. Are they often in the boop chat room? We named a chat room Boop in case that line was confusing. Okay, fine. I named it Boop. 
Hmm. Well, Tony is in the boob chat room fairly often, though not that often. Hmm. I think so. Question four. Have they been in the chat room recently? Yes. Question five. Are they a boy? Oh boy, he's already getting close. Yes. Are they... Hmm. And the colors? To clarify again, the colors are composed of red and some of his closer friends in real life. Their names are red, duh, silver, blue, and green. So red, silver, and blue are all guys. Green is girl. I think she did red at one time. No. Question six. Hmm. Have I read any of his stories? If they're a writer. I'm pretty sure Tony reads his own story while he writes them. I don't know about after, but he definitely will when he's writing them. I'm pretty sure yes. Question seven. Hmm. I only think one boy outside the colors. Huh, you already guessed? You're just a bit... I'm so sorry. Huh, you already guessed? Usually it takes him a bit longer. Hmm. Is it Clavy? Oh yeah, Clav's a guy now too. Nope. No. Question eight. Hmm. I forget that Tony isn't the best at riddles. Well, but he's better than a couple other people I know and more fun than them too, so who cares? Do they read MM? Tony reads Mean Girls while he writes it, right? Yes, he does. I think so. Question nine. Uh, I don't know. Uh, hmm. How about, hmm. Have I myself recently spoken with him? I have no idea if Tony talks to himself. You might, right? I think so, yes. Question 10. If I were to go to the boob chat room right now, would I be able to see him? Okay, he's closer. Yes. Question 11. Would I need to scroll up to see him? Mm, I actually had to exit that chat and, ch chat and check the other one, but I didn't have to scroll up. Don't know what device Tony is using, though. Depending on the device, possibly, but for me, no. I'm on a laptop. Well, unless the screen says so completely different. Probably not, then. Question 12. Mary doesn't happen to be a he? What? Okay, screenshot your laptop, let me see. That's good, I know. Pretty hard to. Blech. I don't know how to screenshot, sorry. I can copy and paste where I see. He presented to- <laughs> Proceeded to send me a copy and paste of what he saw. I could see that he used to see himself on the copy and paste, so I replied as such. <laughs> I hit back so quickly to avoid accidentally sending him a mule. No, you don't have to scroll up. Also, I need to type mule. <laughs> Question 12. There was a full five seconds of pause before his next reply came. Aren't I the only boy there? Oh boy, he's close. Yes. Question 13. Whoa, my heart just sped up and my stomach's doing flips. So you're saying that your crush's name is in the copy and paste of text above, which consists of you, Renewal, Renewal, Lunar, Mary, and myself only. Yes. Question 14. And it's a boy, where both Lunar and Mary are girls. Yes. Question 15. There was another short pause. When the next reply came, it felt less like we were playing a game of 20 questions and more like we were both actually there. Like we were actually sitting together and talking with one another. So it's me. Yes. Oh boy, moment of truth. Another short pause. You like me? I mean, yes, of course I like you, but yeah, I like you. Another pause. I could seriously feel my stomach rolling over and over. Uh, wow, okay, I'm really red right now. Huh, uh, right. Probably would think this is a prank if it weren't you. It's not a prank, right? Do you seriously think I'd play a prank like that? No, that sounds mean. Besides, if I was him, I think it was a prank too. I would never play a prank like that. Neither would I. Did you tell Gom? Is that why she was asking me if I knew who her crush was? Yeah, I told her. Wait, when did I tell her? It wasn't that long ago. Let me check. Checked. November 10th last year. Wow. I've been wanting to have a relationship with someone for a while. Yeah, and then I wrote a few confession a few weeks ago as a portfolio piece because I just kept wanting to blur it out to someone and it was a big blue. That was basically my thought process at the time. <laughs> we sent the messages at about the same time. Me, yeah, about a second after Tony did. Wait, you have? Yeah. Oh. Never thought I'd actually find someone to have it with, though. Why not? Just never thought I'd find the right person, you know? The people I've met are nice and all, but I've never really found anyone besides a general liking. I didn't consider an online one. Oh. Uh, do you want to read the piece, or, uh, what am I supposed to say? I don't know what you're supposed to say. I've never confessed I'd crush to anyone before. My first boyfriend was a accident because my friend was like, Hey, you two are cute together. You should date. I was like, okay. And then I turned out I had a crush on that guy, so. <laughs> Thanks, pet, my friend. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll read it. It's really rambly and long, and it was word vomiting, so it's weird. I'm sorry. Uh, here it is. Oh, before I continue, have you already read it, or do you want to read it? I don't want to read it. Alright then. Wow. That's... Wow. Yeah. I really like talking to you too. Oh, really? I'm just always super awkward, so... Yeah. Heh, <laughs> please. You're the brightest person I've ever met. Oh, Cute. Okay. Haha, <laughs> thanks. If you want, we could give it a shot. Oh. Is, is he serious? He is? This is... Oh, wow. I didn't expect... Why can't I send this page straight? I wasn't... Wow. Okay. I wasn't expecting you to... 
for once, writing the conversation isn't any easier than speaking aloud. Wow. Am I dreaming? Like, am I literally dreaming? No, that's cliche, and besides, my dreams are weirder than this usually. Also, usually nothing that's outright good happens in my dreams. This is true. Yeah. I'd love to. <laughs> okay, that's that's great. That That's fantastic. Holy crap, I didn't actually think you'd want to- I- wow. In, just in case this doesn't work out, I don't want things to be awkward between us. If things go wrong, which I hope it doesn't, I still want it to be close, you know? I care about you. <laughs> okay, I sound a bit like Lucas. <laughs> yeah, you do. I take the next part so quickly, I almost made ten typos. I do too, and I wouldn't let that happen. Just because it doesn't work out the way, it doesn't mean we don't still want to be just friends. Okay, okay. So, it's official? This is seriously happening. Holy crap, this is seriously... I'm not sure what I was expecting, but it definitely wasn't this. Yeah, it's official. Okay, then. It's official. That was on February 1st, 2018, and I'm probably going to remember the day for a long time, if not forever. I hope we can stay together for a long time, and even if we're not dating in the future, I'm sure we'll still be great friends. Love you, Tony Bear. Happy Valentine's Day. This was made last year, and I'm still dating this guy, <laughs> so I think it's going to work out. I, I hope. Um, this was not a good CG. I apologize. Uh, yeah. Oh, I'm not done yet. Okay, I hope we stick together for a long time after this, whether it be as friends or as a couple. And if it's the latter, then I hope one day we can have a relationship that's not through the screen. And uh, Art by Reed Luca, program read by me, made Rempy 2018, GUI, heartwarming by Kevin MacLeod. Yeah, sorry about the music, it's very repetitive. Here we go, okay. Yeah, this was my very first game ever. I'm. I'm surprised, honestly. It, honestly, the art isn't as bad as I expected, and... And... Yeah. <laughs> this is really heartwarming. Oh my god, my heart. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, this is my first game ever. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'm probably going to be doing my other games chronologically soon, and I hope you guys will enjoy those as well. Oh, what's this be about me? This is a game made for Valentine's Day for my boyfriend, 2042. He's an excellent writer and probably would have come up for a much better storyline for this game if the rules had been switched. I've had a crush on him for several months now, if not longer, and I'm glad I'm finally had the guts to admit it. Wait, why am I telling you this? Play the game. <laughs> this was made in a few days and in my first ever game, so please be gentle with the criticism since it turned out most of the code over the course of one weekend. Thank you for playing. I think with this, I'm going to talk more in depth about that in the developer's commentary, so please stay tuned and... I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, bye. Wait, no, that's not how I usually end the videos. I've been not doing this for so long that I forgot how to end the video. So thank you all for so much for watching. I hope you guys will watch the next videos and I hope you guys will stay with me. And by the way, we are getting really close to 300 subs and I'm really excited. I'll make a video about that soon. So thank you all everyone. That's it. See you so long and goodbye.